everyone. This week's video is going to be a little bit different than our previous videos. Uh, Ron is actually at work today and I have some important backcountry beagles business to take care of that I have to drive over to Denver for. So I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. Bye Belly. I'll be back soon. Bye Natty. I'll see you soon. So if there's one thing that Ron and I will not go on a road trip without, it is definitely coffee. So now that I have that, we can officially be on our way. to share with you what I just picked up in the Denver area. Got this nice big bag that's got do dog treats, dog toys, dog pillows, dog blankets, all the fixings for a dog. But my favorite part about it is this. Lily, say hi Lily. So Lily is a one and a half year old beagle that was surrendered to a shelter in Virginia a few weeks ago. Uh, she was dropped off with two of her siblings, but her siblings were picked up from there pretty much immediately um, and Lily was not adopted. So she was picked up by Almost Home Foster Kennels for, out of Minnesota. So Almost Home Foster Kennels out of Minnesota is run by Diane Snader. That's who we got Natalie from almost three years ago now and that's who we just picked up Lily from today. Uh, Ron and I definitely can't speak highly enough of Diane and the foster kennel. She does amazing work and we're actually going to leave her Facebook or the foster kennels Facebook page down in a link below so that if anybody wants to go check it out, um, you can go right ahead. We definitely recommend the Almost Home Foster Kennels out of Minnesota. Lily! Lily! Are we going home? Are you going to go meet your sisters? Are you going home? <laughs> Hey, what? Are you scared? It's okay. She is. She's nervous. It's okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a really long day for Ash and everyone involved with bringing Lily from Minnesota all the way back to us in Colorado. Be sure to check out Almost Home Foster Kennels out of Minnesota. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below for him. Diane and everyone there who helps out doing an absolutely amazing job and we could not be more happy. Now before we go, there's something I wanna show you guys. This is Joe and I's CNC plasma table. 
We've had this for a while now and we finally got around to centering it up and getting it going. And basically what this does, we're gonna be able to program and design parts and pieces on a computer and the machine is gonna be able to cut it out for us. So we're gonna be making a lot of parts and pieces for the Jeeps here in a few. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to check out Solid Swaps Off-Road on Instagram. Now I took a video of this machine cutting out one of our very first test pieces and I'll include that in this video, but it was recorded on an iPhone. So don't come at me for the quality. We're also gonna be going out this weekend up into the mountains doing another overland trip. So be sure to check out that guys. Until next time.